What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy 7th street and welcome to some early battlefield 1 behemoth gameplay. This we was by far the team. most requested thing uh, from the community that they wanted to see from me. I asked on Twitter and of course this was the thing in the battlefield 1 trailer at the end. The guy was looking up with the shadow coming across the face. This is the biggest vehicle ever in Battlefield, and it's probably one of uh, the most badass. So I'm going to give you some first-hand experience and gameplay from the Bohemoth. I jumped in it pretty much the entire match and whenever I could. And I'm also going to tell you what I got to hear from the developers. I got to talk with them, and they mentioned a few things about this uh, Behemoth beast. So... I don't want to say it's rewarded, but it's given to the team that is losing in Conquest. I'm not sure if it's depending on if they're getting absolutely destroyed, because I think it would be a little unfair if it was a very close game of Conquest, you know, 99 to 100, if if you would, and then the, per the team with 99 gets the Behemoth. That would be a little uh, overpowered and unfair. But uh, it's given to the team that's losing in Conquest just because some Conquest games get totally lopsided and out of control. And the Behemoth is literally, uh, RIP Vicstar, is literally a game changer. And what the developer said, and I'm going to give you a tip and trick right here, right now. And I hope you would uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want some more Battlefield 1 gameplay, I got to capture 8 freaking hours, so I got a lot of it. And uh, it, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. But what the developer said to me, and this is the tip and trick, is you gotta focus all your firepower on this behemoth. Because if it stays in the air the entire time, uh, like, I'm just raining down hell upon these people. And it, you know, it's, it, it's so powerful. Look at these machine guns. They have four they got four of these there's four of these guns there's somebody that can drop a large like a really large bomb that explodes like a, a huge radius one single large bomb they got four of the these guns they have a gun on top to try to you know deflect aircraft away even though these four will cover like pretty much the entire radius of this behemoth it's a big radius isn't there a joke if your mama's so fat if she did a hula hoop the, the world would get a day older i don't know there's some you guys can fill it in the comments down below if she sat on a rainbow skittle to come out <laughs> but anyways uh yeah this behemoth it i hope i'm saying it but people always say i say things wrong and i feel like this is one of them uh, anyways uh, it's massive and they recommended that you drop whatever you're doing and focus all your firepower on this thing or it's got to level villages like I am right here and like these people don't have a chance I'm taking them down for half their damage I'm taking planes out the sky and there's four other people in this ship with me and you can just see that massive shadow that it casts on this literally this entire uh, block of this village now, I heard a rumor floating around. I can't confirm this. I don't know if it's true, but the Behemoth is just going to be featured on a few different maps, maybe one different map. Other uh, vehicles, there was a, a trailer that showed, and, and they mentioned how it's on air, on sea, and on land, and they kind of showed a, uh, a cruiser ship, like a battleship. Now, I'm just going to theorize that that could be in Battlefield 1 on different maps that are on the coast. They said that uh, Battlefield 1 was going to be in so many different countries and of course they're going to have an ocean line uh, to it. There's so many uh, different countries fighting in World War 1 and they wanted to have a nice authentic uh, World War 1 experience. Now the behemoth drops right here, of course, like the Heisenberg, it's made out of you know gas and it's falling down and you can see the overlook of the behemoth crashing to the ground fire is engulfing the entire sky like a game of thrones dragon and i'm really trying to spawn right beneath it and look at this this is such a and this is got to be in the thumbnail look at 
the behemoth crash into the ground right in front of me. I'm freaking out. I destroy Merc music uh, right there. That was some COD on COD action. I thought we should have came together, but uh, the Battlefield community was very welcoming of me, and I got baptized as a born-again Battlefielder, and I was um, very thankful that they were so nice and uh, very open. And I thought I was performing pretty good, and I had such a fun time at the event. It was a really cool experience. Now, I said Behemoth only gameplay. Uh, this is just a little clip. I don't know. I just wanted to include it uh, for you guys. Uh, <laughs> there is a, a moment where it was like me, Tabes, uh, Mud, uh, Mugs TV, and we just did like a bayonet only game uh, with a few, uh, uh, like a bayonet charge only. I am Wildcat, there's a bayonet right in your neck. And that, that's gotta be on my channel pretty uh, soon. It was absolutely hilarious. I watched the gameplay like twice already and it's just so many of those bayonet rushes, which is a really interesting mechanic and I can talk about that later. This video is about the behemoth, but somehow this uh, little clip got snuck and I'm, I'm sure you guys don't mind uh, some extra gameplay. And you can see my score that I did pretty good uh, that game. Not too bad. Now, on this clip, I'm going to be in another of the many seats in the behemoth on top. Now, I tried to shoot down at the ground, but obviously it was not as good as those under gun turrets uh, that I displayed in the first half of this video. But what I did find this gun very effective, and I think it was glitching out a little bit because it went invisible and I'm like on top of the behemoth, which is kind of crazy. And you can like snipe from up there and uh, you can, I, a little bit later in this gameplay, you're going to see some teammates go up there. And uh, it's really good if you want to parachute out and like if you really need reinforcements on the sea flag, uh, you spawn on top of the behemoth and you can really go uh, and jump into action wherever you want it. It's a really good spawn point in case you don't have a squad member there or you can't spawn there for whatever reason. But if you notice there's a lot of points coming up on my screen uh, with this minigun when I'm shooting at the planes. It's really good uh, to take out planes and damage them and the damage on planes are so significant. Uh, you can take out entire wings and make it so difficult for them to continue flying but every time a plane tries to pass by they're getting lit for like 35 percent of their damage at least and i think like you can see the damage there it's increasing and i'm shooting at them i think there was just some kind of little glitch uh right here but whatever i'm still doing damage i'm still getting points uh, you, it wasn't very effective shooting down at the ground but you see a few teammates on top living large riding a blimp like a badass why not uh, and these planes just don't go down but every time they come by they're suffering uh, a little bit here so uh, guys please leave a like on this video if you want to see some more uh, battlefield gameplay i would appreciate that you can switch seats by pressing f1 f2 f3 just like the other Battlefield games if there's an open seat you gotta switch to a different gunner and I like this one a, a little bit more because you get to attack tanks that's always fun I get killed pony line takes me out of the gunner seat that's why someone left it and made it available for me they set me up right there that was a conspiracy um, <laughs> but we have a little bit more gameplay here we're gonna have a lot more gameplay for Battlefield 1 I got to capture many many hours and I'm gonna break it all down. I don't know if you guys can notice I'm in a webcam. I, I'm using a webcam uh, to record this commentary. I, I got Kelly and Buddy in the hotel room with me so we're on the road, we're on the grind and uh, you gotta see right here me utilize uh, some of uh, that strategy I talked about earlier where you can jump off of uh, the behemoth, pop your parachute and you know make an impact on the ground if you're trying to recapture a flag. Uh, it just really helps uh, a team that's a little behind. So uh, I, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of of that? Is it catering to bad players? Is it a good balance to a game type conquest that sometimes gets uh, a little lopsided? And there's the behemoth crashing again. How oh, and dude, dude, it's like Levolution, but it's a vehicle in the sky. It's 
it's pretty sick and the, the graphics look insane and the huge explosions but yeah please let me know i think this is going to be an interesting talking point in the battlefield community because i can see uh, both reasons why like it could be catering towards noobs a little bit and helping the bad players i don't know if you noticed but in the behemoth it was a lot of call of duty players that kind of jumped in there right away um, i think c manners and captain sparkles once call of duty players uh but at the other time like i don't know the behemoth just changed the the aspect of the game now if people are in the behemoth that are, and they're on the losing team and they get shot down right away and they don't use the behemoth effectively I think that they're going to be even further behind, so it does kind of balance itself out. And I think good Battlefield players are going to understand that the Behemoth is a game changer and they're going to gravitate to shooting it down with their anti-aircraft weapons, uh, weapons on the ground such as turrets, or getting to buy planes and bomber planes and stuff like that. So again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more Battlefield 1 gameplay. I would appreciate that very much. I got a lot of it coming out, like I said multiple times. I'm just trying to hype it up. Cause I'm pretty excited about that fact, and I hope I'm delivering uh, what the community wants. People said they wanted playing gameplay, and they wanted behemoth gameplay, and I, I delivered. So check out that playing gameplay if you haven't. It's in the description down below. And I will see you another time. Bye-bye.